Can I just start by saying that for my entire life, what goes on up here is completely different than what comes out of my mouth. I think these things, I think great thoughts with balls and structure and relevance, but what comes out is fear, inaccuracy, defensiveness, tirades, and most of the time things that are just not true. I've been in so many relationships where I can't seem to find my truth when I need to say things like, I don't know, fuck you. You're a controlling, narcissistic borderline with sociopathic tendencies. So you can't say that to somebody. I wait until it comes out all crazy and jumbled because I let it sit and fester in my brain. I wait until it comes out like I'm Satan's spawn. And because I do that, I make sure that the one thing I am most afraid of will absolutely happen. And I don't like confrontation, which is odd. Because by the time I say something, if I say something, that's exactly what I create. That's why I say I have no voice, because I'm afraid of it. Except when it comes to my kids. Which one is he, baby? Okay. Leave my kid alone or I will rip your fucking head off. This girl, 14 years younger than me and not a man. And I say that because me falling for a woman, a child, came as a complete and utter surprise to everyone. Before her, a 14-year marriage to a man, and before him, many men. Many men. Yes, Julia, we know, we know. You were a whore, we got it. Why does that make me a whore? I fucked a lot of guys before I met you. Yeah, whores fuck a lot of guys. Did you know for the first six and a half years of this seven year relationship, I had to downplay everything that happened before her. I had to downplay the sex and the emotions and what was said and what was done because she would get so mad and jealous that we'd get in a fight no matter where we were. The only restaurants we had to walk out of me furiously mute or crying, and her looking at me right in the eye, knowing exactly what was wrong and saying, what's wrong? And I'd look at her in awe, wanting to smash her in the face with a frying pan. And I'd say, nothing, I'm fine. And she'd believe me. What are you talking about? I didn't believe you, but there was no point in even talking to you about it because you refused to talk. No. I just didn't want to engage in your craziness. Who gets pissed about shit that happened before they were born? I mean, I blew a guy at 15. She was one. She's going to punish me for that? Stay with the feelings. You know, I am done punishing you. And because I am borderline with sociopathic tendencies, I have no remorse for anything. I feel absolutely nothing. And I'm with someone else now. And I'm happy. And I don't even remember you. Do you feel that? Of course she does. She's not the sociopath in this relationship. How great would it have been if she said that? How great would it have been if you actually said that? Why would I ever say that? You and I both know damn well she's not a sociopath. No, I don't know that. And I said she had sociopathic tendencies. I know it's hard for you to accept that sometimes you are cold and aggressive well, with your words, you especially when you know you're wrong. Either way, you knew what but I if meant. it helps oh, you to dogmatize and sermonize, then please, go right ahead. She used to say shit like that all the time. Things that nobody could understand. So yeah. I break up with this one after seven years in the parking lot after one of our therapy sessions. 
leave skid marks as I run to my car, drive off into some random neighborhood and hide so she couldn't find me. I was so relieved and so thankful I took a real breath for the first time in years. And then she goes and falls in love with somebody else. Are you fucking kidding me? That was not supposed to happen. You got rid of me. I begged you not to leave and you, just as you said, ran. I mean, skid marks? Really? Thanks. And it doesn't even matter anymore because I'm happy now. And I have a whole new life filled with friends and I'm in love. And we can go out and dance all night and stay up until dawn and sleep in. And there's no kids sleeping in between us, waking us up. And she's funny. And we're gonna move in together and we're gonna get married. And I'm gonna finally get to have a kid of my own. She wants to hold my hand and kiss me and show me off to everybody she knows. And her family loves me. And we're all just on this huge pink fucking cloud. And you're back here on earth, stuck in your bed watching Vampire Diaries for God's sakes. She loves me. Am I being punished? I'm being punished for all the things that I didn't say because when I finally did, they came out wrong and mean. Because I waited too long and the resentments created a monster in me. And now I'm being punished. I miss her. No, you don't. I think your ego is making you think you miss her and that you made a mistake in breaking up with her. Well, I didn't ask you. Yes, you did. Every Thursday at 2. Yeah, and you didn't say shit. I even had you fooled, you're a shitty therapist. You're projecting. I am? I dogmatizing too? I have no idea what that means. Nobody does. This one is so clueless that when I was actually trying to break up with her, and she says, Oh my god, I think she's trying to break up with me. Einstein over here says, no, you are completely misreading her. And I think the reason may be is that your father was a rageaholic. Hmm. What? Her father was a rageaholic, but that had fucking nothing to do with it. She knew exactly what I was doing. The only correct diagnosis that day was that our therapist was stupid. I was absolutely trying to break up with her. <laughs> and you know what she said to me? When she looked at me, which which was one of the last times that she ever looked at me when she still loved me. She said, Baby, what's going on? Just tell me. And there it was. That moment, that fork in the road. And I took the one that I logically knew was the right one to travel by. But my heart says I made a mistake. You mean your ego? My heart. Ego. Feels like my heart. I and I get you ego. and everyone else, I get it. But all I feel is pain and I feel alone and I feel like I'm about to make horrible mistake, aren't I? No. I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> and then there after about like four months, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wonder where you are. So I'm gonna look you up on Facebook and I'm gonna see that I've been blocked. Then I'm gonna stalk you on Instagram and, and see you walking on a beautiful beach with her. Which means you took her home for Christmas. And I don't know why, but I'm in panic. I mean, if I'm this jealous, it's gotta mean that I'm in love with her again. And then I'm gonna regret this for the rest of my fucking life. Your ego 
is on steroids. <laughs> do you want to know what the definition of insanity is? When you continue Not to do the you, same. Them. It's doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results. I did the same things over and over again. I mean, I attract chaos. I attract crazy. I attract the kind of people that in the first, you know, six months of that pseudo bliss, they go fucking cuckoo on me. I had a guy cheat on me with his sister, for God's sakes. The guy before her, right when we were about to have sex, I realized was wearing women's underwear. And I stayed with him. He said he wasn't gay. That he only liked to get dressed when he was alone like a woman. In the end, all I was left with was two bras and a pair of underwear because he fucking stole them all. There was this girl that I accidentally slept with. She uh, tried to climb my drain pipe so she could kill the guy I was in bed with at the time. That guy had been left by the girlfriend before me for another woman. So. When he realized that it was a woman climbing my drain pipe, freaked the fuck out, broke all my shit, ran out, and shot heroin. At the end of one of her mom's many visits, when we were about to say goodbye, this one got in the fetal position on the floor. I got two crazy ass kids running around and my girlfriend in the fetal position on the floor. I don't want to do this anymore. And that's what I wanted to say to her. I don't want to do this anymore. I was so jealous of how she felt about me. I wanted to be in complete and utter love get butterflies in my stomach every time she walked into a room. I wanted to want to travel with her. I wanted to want to marry her. I wanted to want to have a baby with her. I wanted to want to have sex with the turtle light on. Did you ever feel that way about me? Yeah, for a little while. But you weren't supposed to meet someone else. You mean I wasn't supposed to be happy? Maybe. That's fucked up. It's mean. It's not enough to just be in love with someone. They have to love you back. And you deserve to be in love, and I deserve to be in love with someone who loves me. She never said that. I don't know why I made her say that. I think I need closure. I can help you with that. Really, lady? You know what? I never liked you. You're cold. And if you think for one second that anybody believes that that's your real hair, you're a fucking idiot, too. That's what I wanted to say. Instead, I wrote her a check and told her that I hope she had a great weekend. And I know she believed me. Vampire Diaries ended. <laughs> it was devastating. I caught up with all the episodes. Now I have to wait for every Thursday. <laughs> I'm watching the show Lost. I'd never seen it, and there, there are a shit ton of episodes, so as soon as my kids go to school, I jump into bed, and I binge watch as long as I possibly can. Last week, I was a vampire. This week, I'm just lost.
it all that I hide like a kid in the dark. And I swear each and every time. 